the question is to find the reflection of this point about this line. So let's say if I make a line first, I made this line and the equation of this line is given as uh, 5x plus y plus 6 equal to 0. And let's say I took a point and I named it as P whose coordinate as far it is given in the question is 4 minus 13. And we have to obtain the reflection of this. So clearly reflection of this point P. Here this line is acting as a mirror. This line here is acting as a mirror. That's why we are finding its reflection. I take this point as P dash. And its coordinate SA it is X comma Y. Now we have to get the coordinate of this point. That's what the question is to coordinate, get the point P here. Now the first thing which I'm going to do is to obtain the slope of this line. So slope of this line using M is equal to minus A by B, minus A over B. So we can say it is uh, minus five over one. So the slope of this line is minus five. Now what we know that uh, this line is, has to be perpendicular, right? That's how reflection comes out. So if I find out the slope of this line, as you know, uh, two lines when they are perpendicular, then the reciprocal, then the slope of one line is negative reciprocal of the other. So I can say that the slope of this line will be negative reciprocal of this line. So the slope of this white line is minus five, so it should be minus one over, sorry, positive, negative reciprocal. So it is positive 1 over 5. Now, once we have obtained the slope of this line, and we also have a point of this line, so what we are going to do is to obtain the equation. So for that, I need some space. Now, what I'm going to do next is to obtain this equation of this line PQ. And the formula which I'm going to apply here is uh, y minus y naught is equal to m x minus x naught slope, point slope form. So y minus y naught is what? Minus 13. So it's going to be y plus 13 is equal to m from here. It is positive 1 over 5 x minus x naught and x naught is positive 4. So by cross multiplication, we'll get 5y plus 65 is equal to x minus 4. So we can further simplify it and write this as x minus 5y and transposing to the left. Write it here. This is x minus 5y and this is 65 minus 65 minus 64 is minus 69 is equal to 0. Now, once we have obtained the equation of this line, now we are going to get the point of intersection. Well, the point of intersection here, I, I mean this point. Let's say this point be L. So I'm going to get the point of intersection of L and that is possible if I solve these two equations. By that, I mean to say, if we solve this, one equation is this. And the other equation which I'm going to solve is this one, the obtained below. So I'm going to write it just below it. Yeah. So on solving these two equations, let's say, what we are going to do is we have different coefficients here. So we need to first write them in the standard form. Let's say I, I, I write in a different form yet. By that, I mean to say, but if I write this as 5x, one more thing we can observe is, uh, all right, let's face it first, find out, transposing the constant to the other side. This helps us. Now, if I multiply this equation by 5, so as to get, or multiplying this with 5, it's all same. So I'll multiply this equation by 5. So what I'm going to get here as 25x, 5 into y, that is positive 5y is equal to minus 30, I suppose. Yeah. Now, once we have uh, solved this, we can uh, use eliminations to cancel this. And this comes out to be 26x, I suppose. Yeah. 
x plus 25 x we are adding these two equation 26 x and on the other side it is coming as 39 yeah. yeah that's 39 so we can say x is equal to 39 over 26 which is divisible by 13 so i can reduce by 13 13 3 times 13 2 times so we got x is equal to 3 over 2 now once we have got the value of x here the next thing we are going to do is to opt in y so that's how to opt in y here now we have got x and now i'm going to place the value of x in any of these equations to opt in y let's say i use this one right so i can see that uh, this is 5x 5x so x being replaced by 3 by 2 plus y is equal to minus 6. Now this is uh, y will become as minus 6 and transposing this to the other side it is minus 15 over 2. Is it correct? That's 5, 3, 2, 3, 15, 15 by 2. Now for the further simplification I keep on managing the space. Right. So we have this as y is equal to, this is minus 12 minus 15 is what? Minus 12 minus 15 is minus 27. So we got y also. So once we have obtained the value of x and y, next thing that we will do is, we can say that L is the midpoint of P, P dash. You know that according to the laws of reflection, the distance of the image from the mirror is same as the distance of the object from the mirror. So I can say L is the midpoint here. L is the midpoint of P, P dash. So I can use this section formula of special case for midpoint and I can write X is equal to X1 plus X2 over 2 and similarly Y. Now I can say that uh, <clears throat> this point L whose coordinate we have obtained as 3 by 2 and minus 27 by 2. So I can say x which is 3 by 2 here is equal to x1. Say this is x1 plus x2 which is 4 over 2. Right. So this 2 get cancelled and we get x here as minus 1. Now same way we can get the value of y also. So y is y1 plus y2 over 2. So y, which is this, which is uh, minus 27 over 2, y1, let's say this be y1, plus y2, which is minus 13. So plus minus is minus over 2. Here too, I can see that this get cancelled. So y is equal to 13 minus 27 is how much? 14. That should be 14. So we got y here as this. 14. So therefore we can declare the answer here and the answer for this this is uh, pxy right and the value of this px being we calculated x is this. So there is so many x so need to be uh, see which one x we are talking about. So this is minus 1 and then 14. Possibly you can take a, a different instead of x but as of now once we have taken we can get this value as minus 114 now this is i just can see one mistake this is not 14 this is minus 14 because minus 27 plus so it should be final answer is this